Welcome to Electro Online. Here we're starting a new playlist in algebra on the circle. And yes, we're going to start by reviewing the distance formula. And you may say, why in the world would we look at the distance formula when we talk about circles? But well, in the next video, you'll see the connections. You, I just want to make sure that we understand how the distance formula works. And again, if it's been a while since we looked at it, we may want to review it. So here it is. So let's take two points on the xy plane. Here's point number one, there's point number two. Point number one has the coordinates x1, y1, and yes, I do need a comma there. And then point number two has coordinates x2 and y2. And so you can see that when we draw a line between the two points, we want to know what the distance is between those two lines. And so we need the distance formula. To find the distance formula, we draw a little triangle. And we can see that this side here, let's call that side A, let's call this side B, and then the hypotenuse, let's call that C, so that A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That's the hypotenuse formula. Now, if we then find the location of that point on the x-axis and the location of this point on the x-axis, and same on the y-axis, we can see that the length, the distance A, is equal to the difference between x2 and x1. So x2 minus x1 is equal to A, and y2 minus y1 is equal to B. And so instead of writing a squared plus b squared, we can write x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And of course, in this case, c, the hypotenuse, is equal to d squared. So then if we take the square root of both sides and we turn it around, you can then see that the distance d, which is the distance from here to here, is simply equal to the square root of the distance in the x direction squared plus the distance in the y direction squared. Pythagorean theorem, as simple as that. So you can see that this is what we call the distance formula. And sure enough, there's a strong relationship between the distance formula and the formula for a circle on the xy plane. So in the next video, we're going to draw that connection and we're going to see where the general equation of the circle came from. It came exactly from this distance formula. So stay tuned and we'll show you how that's done. 